In this video, you'll learn several convenient ways to get your docs into Paperless Pipeline. Before we begin, it's important to understand where you are uploading your docs. Docs may be uploaded to a general holding area called unassigned docs from where they can later be assigned to a transaction, or they may be uploaded directly into a transaction. Click Unassigned Docs. Unassigned Docs is a general holding area for docs that have not yet been assigned to a transaction. Agents and admins can upload docs here when their transaction hasn't been created yet, or when they need to be assigned to a transaction by someone else. Each agent has their own unassigned docs area in the system. Admin staff can see unassigned docs uploaded by all agents. While on the unassigned docs page, Click Upload Docs from the left menu. You'll be taken to the Upload page. To upload docs using drag and drop, open a second window showing the docs you want to upload. Hold the mouse cursor down on a single document or Command click or Control click to select multiple documents depending on whether you are on a Mac or PC. Then, drag the docs to the Drag Files Here area. The system will list your docs you dragged. Select a location if applicable and click Upload Docs to complete the process. You'll see your uploaded docs in the Unassigned Docs area. To upload without using drag and drop, return to the Upload Docs page. Click to browse and select the desired docs. Whenever you're assigning or uploading docs to a transaction, you'll need to specify a permission category for each doc. You can review permission details for each category during the selection process. For instance, selecting the listing category will make that doc visible to only listing agents and office staff. Then click Upload Docs to complete the process. Another way to get your docs into Pipeline is by emailing them to your mail drop address. Each user has their own unique unassigned docs mail drop address. Most office scanners can be programmed to conveniently email scan docs directly to mail drop addresses. Docs sent to the mail drop address will appear on the unassigned docs page. You can import fully executed contracts directly from your DocuSign account. To see how that works, play the Importing from DocuSign video after you've finished watching this one. Now let's learn how to directly upload to a transaction. Go to the transaction and click Upload Docs from the left menu. To drag and drop, open a second window showing the docs you want to upload. Select the desired documents, then drag them to the Drag Files Here area. The system will list the docs you dragged. Whenever you're assigning or uploading docs to a transaction, you'll need to specify a permission category for each doc. This permission category determines who will be able to see a doc, so it's important that you select the right one. You can review permission details for each category during the selection process. For instance, selecting the listing category will make that doc visible to only listing agents and office staff. Click Upload Docs to complete the process. To use basic Upload without dragging and dropping docs, click to browse and select the desired docs. Confirm the document name, select a category, and click Upload Docs. Each user gets their own unique mail drop address for each transaction to which they have access. Sending a doc to a transaction's mail drop address pre-assigns it to that transaction. This saves the admin an extra step when they assign such a doc to a transaction.